what's up guys it's Rosebeth and welcome to my channel I hope you're fine I hope you're great and I hope this video finds you well I hope you're having a nice and relaxed weekend wherever you are as far as here in Bavaria we are enjoying the horrible the worst weather ever it's not snowing it's just you know that kind of it's raining but it's not raining when you're outside you're not even sure you should remove your umbrella or not because it's just drizzling but not raining it's just cold and dark and wet it's just bad yeah i hope wherever you are you're having a better weather than we are and thank you so much for tuning in again my new subscribers welcome to the family i hope you feel at home and um, today let's look at the part two of a video that i did last year which was weird things the germans do or better said weird things the germans do which i as a kenyan consider weird and this will be part two and without further ado let's get straight to it Hey, by the way, do you know German's favorite number? Nine? Nine? Ah, nine! <laughs> Point number one, and this one drives me crazy every time at work. Seriously, I cannot get used to it. It's been uh, 18 years now, and I still cannot get used to it that when Germans write their numbers where we people from Kenya or I think many English speaking countries where we write the full stop or the the full stop they write a comma for example a German would write two thousand five hundred comma fifty cent euros what and we in Kenya would write two comma five hundred point fifty cent shillings and every time i put that on excel excel cannot recognize what i'm writing and it <gasps> it drives me crazy yeah germans put full stop instead of commas when writing numbers yeah hmm weird point number two the second weird thing the germans do is germans count weirdly seriously I don't know how people are in other countries count but as far as I'm concerned I work in a very multicultural working place and all the other people at my workplace count like one two three four five and what do Germans do? Germans count one two three and then go four five who does that? It's really weird. It is weird. I will never get used to seeing them doing that. I don't think I do that now. I have to I have to check myself. Maybe I do that unconsciously. But I don't think I count one, two, three. I'll check it. I'll check. I'll check my video see when I count the points if I count like this. But I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah. The third weird thing the Germans do is they end their sentences with OR SO and this one has screwed my English so much I can, I don't know, I can never speak a normal English sentence where I end the sentence with RIGHT like we do in Kenya No! Now I end up, I end my sentences with OR or because in German it's actually quite normal to just say yeah um to come say the Abend oder something like that and now I end up saying instead of saying you're coming tonight right I say you're coming to write tonight or <laughs> it just for an English native speaker that sounds so horrible and I cannot believe that I speak like that now it's just mm, weird. <laughs> weird. The fourth weird thing that Germans do is they eat bread for dinner. I tell you, when I came to Germany as an au pair, and they were like, oh, let's prepare dinner. And I was there ready with my 
cooking pans and cooking pots ready to peel those potatoes and chunk and uh, chunk those meats and slice those, those onions no they were just cutting the bread putting on the table taking some cheese and some chicken and that's dinner I was left with my eyes like what really yeah in German in Germany they call it Abend Brot, which is evening bread. So normal. All families. I, I mean, they have like over 600 types of breads. So it's no wonder that they have bread every dinner. That means Germans will have bread for breakfast and then bread for dinner. Whoa. Yeah. But really, they have the best breads ever all types of it it's just i should make a video on german bread i should because it amazes me how many times and how many different uh i don't know sorts of breads they have in the bakeries it's amazing yeah but it's really weird for me as a kenyan where we have uh, two warm meals per day that is lunch and dinner to come to germany and see that they have just bread bread for dinner. Yeah, weird. The fifth the last weird thing that I find Germans do is that when you are traveling on the public means that you buy a ticket and just go into the, the bus, the train, whatever, and then travel to whatever place you're going and Somebody may or may not come to control it. At the beginning, that was something which I found very weird. First of all, when I entered the, it was the tram. The first time I entered the tram, I was there looking for someone to control my ticket. I was just like, who am I supposed to show this? I have a ticket. <laughs> ticket. And uh, people were looking at me weird because uh, I didn't know in Kenya what to do. Just go into the traffic in the in the public transportation which are usually buses or these the so-called matatus and someone will come and you pay to them so it was normal for so in germany when you just have to buy the ticket and just go the train without someone having to control it first for me it felt like i'm i'm traveling illegally it's like I didn't show anybody this ticket. Am I allowed to enter here or will I not be? I don't know. But yeah, that's how Germans roll. You just buy a ticket from the automatic and then you enter the train and someone may or may not come to control you. So it's just uh, up to you, really. Yeah. yeah, those are my five weird things that Germans do. Let me know if you are foreigner in Germany. What are the weird things? That you find Germans too. Let me know at the comments below. And if you like the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed hmm, and you've watched till this far, I think it's just nice. And uh, it would be really nice of you if you just clicked the subscribe button down there. It's free of charge. I promise. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a nice and blessed weekend. Uh, till then. Ciao.